today we're teaming up with Quantum Systems to showcase the capabilities of a PRISM system along with multiple UAVs in the air. Quantum Systems has provided a twister and vector UAV and we're going to be flying those out at multiple ranges from very close in all the way out to 60 kilometers. What you're looking at here is our Streamcaster Prism. It's an integrated radio and antenna system. It combines our Streamcaster 4400 Mane radios along with sectorized MIVO antennas to provide long range 360 degree coverage. One of the great things about our Prism system is how intuitive it is and it was really designed that way. These guys have had limited training on a Prism system. They probably touched it once before. They came out here today, they set it up in a matter of minutes. I think the intuitive design along with the neat pack out make it really simple for an operator to deploy it even without any training. There's a number of applications for a PRISM system. One of them that we're showing today is as a ground control station for UAVs or aircraft. Operationally with the PRISM system, it really does shine in the ability to do relaying through the system. So I can have multiple vehicles uh, downrange. I could be 40, 50 miles in a southwesterly direction and a forward operating base up in the northern region, and I can use the silver system to relay and then be able to relay that back through that network. It can also serve in multi-asset networks where you have aircraft in the air, you have unmanned air vehicles, you have ground systems that could be manned vehicles or unmanned ground systems, and you can also have dismounts as well. Another application for a PRISM system is for event security to create a tactical bubble of coverage for multiple assets around a specific event. The PRISM system that we deployed today here was integrated very, very quickly. Like a lot of the Silvers network, once I've got it on my platform, the waveforms are all there on the same network. We just established a system on the ground, we put it up in the air, we established the network, and we can be up and running in 15 minutes. It's a very quick system to integrate because of all of that interoperability. All of the systems seamlessly works together. All Quantum Systems UAVs are already integrated with Silva Streamcaster radios. Today they'll be flying the SC4200 on the Vector UAV and the SL5200 on the Twister Small UAV. So as soon as they fire those up, they're going to seamlessly connect into the PRISM system and provide that long-range connectivity. The Silva's network really provides the backbone of our system. It provides us the ability to go long-range. We've tested out to over 100 miles with our systems. Uh, and do multiple operations simultaneously on a mesh network. The great part about working with Silvus is how easy it is to integrate their radios into our systems. And I say that because we're configuring the radios and we're in the field. It is very essential to be as quick as possible because whenever you have a mission, you need to get up and going, and Silvus allows us to do that. We've been having all those systems in the air today, flying back, the PRISM system's been able to work, full 360 without any tracking and pull data from multiple different ranges, multiple different data length and speeds coming back through that PRISM system and then aggregating that data down to a central computer uh, and giving a complete picture for the operators. Jordan's just setting up the Quantum Systems mission planning software. What we're looking at here is the Quantum Systems Cubase software. They've tightly integrated with the Silvis API so they're able to pull information from the network we see the live video from each vehicle. We've got one vehicle about five miles away. We've got our local vehicle here running an operation and then we're running another operation about 30 miles down the road. We see all three videos so our forward operating base here can be commanding and controlling multiple systems as they go. The Streamcaster Prism system consists of four 90 degree sector antennas and depending on where the drone is flying, it will automatically connect into the sector with the strongest link at any given time. I can see here that there are a total of six radios currently on in the network, one of those being the UAV, of course, four other radios on the Streamcaster Prism system, and then one more radio for our local operator here who's using it for push-to-talk capability. What we're also showcasing is that we've got multiple links and multiple different ranges as well. We've been able to test today and improve stress test after 30 miles with a high data rate, full video motion, uh, while simultaneously with a five mile link and a local link, uh, all at three different angles away from the battle space current. All right, nice work guys, let's pack it up. So we had another great test today. We rolled up with our truck of gear, several Pelican cases. The guys rapidly set up the PRISM system in about 15 minutes. The Quantum Systems folks set up their drones and they were up in operationals in a matter of minutes as well. We were able to launch three drones from three different locations and have them all connect into our common ground control station here.
providing simultaneous control and video feed from all of those drones here at our ground control station.